Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electric. Uh, I really appreciate that. Now, this is uh, an emergency switch. And this circuit here is automatic change of a switch. Uh, we can, let us see first. So, this is automatic change of a switch and this is the control circuit. Uh, it has a generator circuit which can come in, main goes, uh, generator is called and then automatically then it engages uh, the gen contactor and you have supply, okay? So we did an in-depth uh, video about uh, uh, automatic change of a switch. I'll uh, leave a link in the description for you to check on that video. Now, this is an emergency switch, okay? So most of these circuits uh, really need protection. Uh, not protection for the circuit, but for the, the protection for a user. In any case, if there is a, a problem the other end of this system, then you can always have this uh, that you can press and it breaks the circuit. Now, imagine switches, you can have as many as you want. You can have a couple of them eh? uh, connected in a series. So in any position you are, you can uh, break the circuit. Now, in this uh, changeover switch, uh, where exactly, or oh, how do you incorporate this and where exactly do you connect it? Now, you have to remember that we have two contactors and two different sources of power in this system. So how do you use a single uh, uh, emergency switch to break the circuit? And breaking the circuit, it could be either mains or generator. So whatever, it has to break the entire circuit. Now, <coughs> there is two ways to do that, okay? This is an emergency switch. Uh, it usually have two contacts right here. Now, you see most of them, you will see uh, contacts like this is normally open and then you have normally closed. Now, with the margin switch, we use normally uh, closed because we want our circuit to be constantly on. And then in any case, if you press uh, the margin switch, uh, it means that it will open the entire circuit, okay? Now, we cannot connect this thing to the power circuit because uh, the wires are big, uh, we'll do a lot of work to do that. But instead, we connect it to control circuit, okay? And uh, when you're dealing with control circuit of these circuits, uh, it's better, you, you can do this circuit in two ways. Most people uh, would control uh, the live wire, uh, in their control circuit, but it's better to control neutral because now in this circuit, neutral is common, okay? So the mains in the ET supply, we have a neutral and then the generator also have a neutral and these neutral always put them on the common block, okay? Usually when we were wiring our, our uh, when we were wiring our power circuit. So we have a common block. So you find that that neutral will run through all through. So, because both neutral for the main and the generator are linked together, so we can use, it's better, we can use a neutral in our control circuit, okay? So, remember, uh, these relays, uh, this part here is the generator and this part here is the mains, okay? Every component you're seeing in this circuit here, uh, it is an AC component, meaning it has got and it takes in a neutral and, uh, and a live because the coil is AC. Okay? Because uh, the coil is AC. Okay? So, what we do, because the main side, this is a three phase, what you're gonna do, you choose a, a, a phase of your choice and then you feed it in the A2s where you would have connected the neutral, you can connect that phase. So you get the timer, you connect uh, in your A2, you connect uh, your, your, your phase one. You can just use one phase throughout. So 
the 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 comparator only because it need to monitor okay our input voltage so it will be, it will be connected in the right way all right a1 for life a2 for neutral but now uh the timer and the relay and then the contact will give them uh that phase on a2 now we go back to a1 we use neutral throughout so that means you will be controlling neutral okay so because this guy after taking in uh after taking in uh the life here all the phases here reads voltage okay this guy reads voltage right here so the, what we only want is control down here uh number 11 and number 14 which closes if the voltages are okay and the open is if the voltages are out of range okay so meaning we can you know control a neutral so the neutral will pass through those control contacts and then uh through those control contacts the timer will get the supply will get the neutral and then the relay okay so the relay the, the, the neutral will be throughout our control circuit so what we are going to do we are just going to to put in this main wire that brings in the control okay the control neutral this is the main wire okay from our our common rail all right so this is where we are going to put our uh, emergence okay So this will be super easy. I'm just going to to cut this, okay? I'm just going to cut this here, right here. Like that. All right, so my neutral control wire, uh, I've already stripped the wires and I will just feed in this. One side. Okay, so this is how our connection will look, all right? So you see, it's just completing a circuit. We've just cut a wire and we connected uh, our emergency switch just right in the middle of the wire. So it is just in a series with the circuit, okay? And it is easier because we are controlling neutral in our circuit, okay? All right, right now it is in the closed position. So let's see what happens. So definitely we have our circuit on right now and the main is running. So if I push this, you see, the circuit will break, okay? And if I reset it, the circuit will come back on. The circuit will break. All right. Now, what about if if the main is running? I mean, if the generator is running, what happens? Okay. So let's say the main uh, sheds generator is cold and generator is running. So if press the same emergency button the entire circuit goes and you see the entire circuit everything de-energize okay because the circuit can't work without without neutral and that's what we are controlling right
Okay, so the circuit will be complete because this thing, it will disconnect power completely from the installation. Okay, and that's exactly uh, what we want. Okay. Your generator will continue to run, but the circuit will de-energize and there will be no uh, power going through uh, our APS. Okay. All right. So I hope uh, that helps. I hope you really and, uh, uh, understood. So if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, to like, and share. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.